So I'm not sure they need to create too many more since they have lambdas now, because uh, lambdas make it easy for people to make whatever they want. Um, one that I have wanted over time a number of times, and it's not a hard one to do with two formulas, uh, but doing a weighted average, right? Right now we have to do a sum product divided by a sum. Uh, it'd be nice to have that consolidated into a weighted average function just to make it a little bit quicker and easier. I actually think there's been a lot of progress in creating new and useful functions over the past few years. I actually think a lot of those functions were really good. Um, the one I might add, well, actually, there's, I've probably got two ideas. My first idea is to convert data between long and wide format. I guess you can do that using a pivot table right now, but you, if you don't want to use a pivot table and you can, you might want to use a function to do that, then that might be nice. Um, the other idea I had is to, I don't think it's a function, but it's functionality to make it easy for people to create uh, lots of nice looking charts that are consistent. Uh, I might have some fin you know, analysis on different tabs of a spreadsheet. Uh, like all the different tabs might be identical um, be in a sense that you know, it might be different lines of business for a company. And so I'm doing the same sorts of projections, but a different segment of a portfolio. And so I have the same types of charts across all the different tabs, but it's quite hard sometimes to update all the rest of the charts if I've made one change to the first one. Uh, or it might even be different charts on the same page. Um, yeah, you know, if I want to make them all consistent in terms of the y-axis and the x-axis, yeah, you know, I just write VBA to do that. But it's not um, user-friendly to do that sort of solution. You know, obviously we've just got the lambda formulas, which means people can build whatever formulas, you, formulas they like. Which it, it is a good idea in theory, and you know, it's going to have a lot of great use cases uh, for somebody like me who spends a lot of time auditing other people's models. That makes me very scared. I think as a general feature, I'd like to see uh, one thing. I sort of do quite a lot is uh in, in my day-to-day -day is like multi-site modeling so you've got like 50 solar farms they're all pretty much the same they just have like you know slightly different names and uh, capacities and they have different costs and whatnot and you know exa has data tables which can sort of go you know you could build one wind farm and then flick through all 50 of them and that can result that can sort of give you like a very basic set of results but it would be good if like Excel would have something where you can be like, okay, I have this sort of this sort of little module mod, mod, uh, models one wind farm, then run essentially run like a data table as opposed to getting like a small array of things out or like a one data out. Have like, okay, this is a set of results for each one. That would be very helpful in, in what I do, I think. And I've not really come across a clever way of getting around that. You know, it's funny. I I, I had a lot of thoughts uh, on that, but they've, they've checked most of them off recently. Um, I was I was agitating for a for a text split and a flatten function for ages, and they've they've done both of those now. Um, I, I mean, honestly, since they brought out lambda, there's not much. You know, if there, if there was something that I wanted all the time and didn't have, I would just have written it by now. But uh, yeah, I I don't know. I don't. I'm not sure what the next big gap is. There, I'm I'm still I'm still very happy with all the new ones they've just brought out in the last year or so. Mm -hmm.